Hello friends, this is Larry with Rides Done Right. I'm at the 2016 shift sector airstrip attack at McMinnville, Oregon. And this whole weekend, uh, they've been flying helicopters around and seeing all the, the, the car exotic cars passing down the runway. And we went and found a guy that's got the helicopter place here in McMinnville and they do rentals. So we were able to go up the whole weekend and, and experience it. And uh, Ingo, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, thank you. And uh, so this guy is the guy who's been, been doing helicopters here at the event. Inko, why don't you tell me how this event, what you guys have had to do differently here to really prepare for what you did this weekend? Well, uh, it was a long planning process with the FAA to get the cars out here onto the um, airport. And uh, so that's been months of work uh, to get that going. Um, well, other than that, for the operation this weekend so far went pretty good um, so um, just like planned pretty much um, and that's that's great what's been one of your biggest challenges so far I mean we're in uh, really I, I can't say it's day one because I've been here earlier in the week in Monday you guys have been working this thing not just this week but for a long time what what was maybe the the biggest challenge so far uh, the biggest challenge was to get everybody on board so that everybody can still do what they usually do. So we didn't want it to have the airport operation impacted. Um, so the, the second runway is open and uh, general aviation and small uh, jets uh, can still land uh, while the races are going. So um, And that was a challenge. Um, and that went just perfect and we got everything everybody's happy was able to do what they usually did uh, with minimal impact and uh, that was the biggest challenge I was amazed to see that we were out there and when you see what is going on in this whole event all the people and and the fact that you have uh, the taxi lane and then you have like a secondary lane there you have the the main runway and when you're able to look around and see that planes are still getting in and out they're taxiing around the back way I thought it went the whole event so far has gone beautiful I mean I hate to I don't want to say what do you knock on the wood or but it's it's been great so um, for us one of the one of the the fun things is obviously I had never been in a helicopter before and uh, I'm scared of heights, I don't do rides on, on uh, the fair, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't like where I'm not in control. When I go in fast cars, I want to drive. I don't want to ride, I just don't like not being in control. So when I'm sitting in this helicopter uh, uh, beside the pilot and, and here, here we are uh, getting ready to take off, I started getting nervous and all of a sudden I'm going, oh man, you know, how's this going to go? Literally, we got like five feet off the ground as we were starting to go and it was fun from the very moment we started taking off to the very end. I could not believe the experience by comparison of a helicopter to small planes. My brother has a four-seater four Cessna and I've been up in it and, and this is nothing like it. Very fun. What do you guys do for the rentals and how has that worked with you guys this weekend and in normal business? Um, well, this weekend we've been flying pretty much non-stop. Uh, we did rides here at the airport uh, early in the day. We had a couple of rides uh, off of the airport um, and um, that's basically what we do all year round. So we fly all year round, weather permitting, um, and we do scenic tours out of the McMinnville airport, out of Portland downtown. Portland downtown has a helipad so we can land right there in downtown on top of a roof. Um, and uh, we give rides from there, so tours around Portland, Columbia River Gorge, Mount St. Helens. Um, that's from Portland. Uh, from McMinnville, we do the coast. We do uh, a lot of the local vineyards. Um, so either just scenic tours or we do wine tasting flights as well. So you get to go up in the helicopter, fly into a winery, um, get out, uh, taste some wine, get back into the helicopter, fly to the next winery and uh, do that for a couple wineries and that's a lot of fun. Now so. I bet that's a business in Oregon with it be wineries becoming such a big deal now that as more and more people find out they can do something like this, this ought to explode. I could just see this really being big. It's it's a lot of fun and um, we're, we're, we're busy uh, so that's really nice. Um, yeah, so and 
besides that we do some other stuff like special events as well for example like wedding exits it's a really fun thing to do so you know after your reception we fly in in the helicopter and uh, surprise the crowd nobody knows about it you know we land at wherever the event is if there's enough room you know like a golf course or the bigger events that have like a grass area we uh, pick, land there pick up the bride and groom and fly out into this well into the sunset or if it's at night we fly into portland at night which is really beautiful one of the most beautiful flights so yeah I, actually anybody who knows the portland scenic area so incredible anyway and and uh, my wife always freaks out when we go over the bridges and she's like no i can't look and enjoy the view and it's like this is one of the prettiest scenes you'll ever see is portland at night but to do it in a helicopter that raises the ante one of the things uh, that this kind of leads into is of all the kind of events and things that you've done, specialty events, what's like been, has there been one that you just thought, wow, that event, that was one of the coolest things we've ever done? Um, I, I think the weddings are pretty, pretty special. Uh, we had, a, um, we had a special event for somebody like a second wedding. They, uh, they wanted to renew their, their vows and uh, we landed at a, a private property uh, where there was enough room, but there was tall trees all around it. So you have to, you know, the only way to get in there is in a helicopter, come vertically down like 50 feet. So that that's that's really cool. That's where flying a helicopter is really. That's like, this is what helicopters do. That's amazing. I was real impressed with how agile they are and uh, all the kind of maneuvers that we did today, getting around the event itself. And we're looking forward to getting some great footage uh, this week. And we continue on. We went up twice today. We're going to go up a couple more times tomorrow. And, and we think the, the footage should be, should be just amazing. So we're impressed with what you guys do. We love the facility here. Everybody's treated us great. This business is, is grade A. I mean, if you guys are out there and you know how you go on, on the social media stuff and you're like grading a place, we would grade this place top notch. If you're looking to do something special and do anything that you're looking to do fun with your family or any, all the things that you mentioned, Man, I'm on board. I, c I couldn't be more on board with doing something. And we will be back to do more with you guys because it was so much fun this, this weekend. We see family events and other kind of activities that we can plan that are going to be around this. So kudos to you guys and, and best, best wishes moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time.